Hello everyone, it's Anna Romanenko again, and today I want to invite you to participate in some fun project related to self-love. It's Valentine's Day, everybody is talking about love and commitment and relationships, but we often forget that the first of all we need to learn how to love ourselves, how we can recognize beauty and gifts that we carrying on that we uh, share with the world. Only when we recognize our talents, when we recognize our uh, value, we will see the same qualities in other people and appreciate them. So this fun project, it's not going to be a marathon, but I just show you the steps that you can do for next two weeks and prepare something beautiful and very valuable for yourself. So let me switch the camera and we'll start. Okay, so here is my project. So I prepared a template of the heart. I know it looks silly that we are going to do hearts, but why not? <laughs> Let's have fun. Let's do something very naive and very uh, childish, but appreciate it for ourselves. So I use this heart to create 14 small hearts. You can use red color, you can use pink, white, or any other colors. This project can be as colorful as you want. I prepared uh, all my hearts in red, uh, but you can do it in any other colors as well. So I just cut every heart. You decide what kind of uh, shape of the heart you want. You can uh, take some templates from the internet. You decide the size. Mine is about four inches. And I just drew it by hand. There's nothing special but very unique because it's um, the way I do it. So this is the heart I created. I actually already cut out 14 total and something going on with my camera. Let's me back. So I created already 14 hearts. Uh, I'll set them aside. Each day I'm going to take one heart Again, it can be any other colors. It can be white color as well. And I take some uh, jelly roll pen, or you can use uh, uh, white pens or any markers that you, uh, you have in your house or colored pencils. And I start unlocking this heart. I start just releasing narrow lines, exploring it every corner of this heart i'm unlocking my heart recognize what is going on my body my emotions as any near graphical drawing we always pay attention to three points our body emotions and thoughts And I don't want it to be stressed or overwhelmed process. I want it to be as gentle as possible. So I start rounding as I go. Very beautifully look like when we use um, color paper, uh, the white lines look very nice. You can try somewhere on the side, different options and when your mind will calm down you can do it at morning or at evening it doesn't take much time it takes less than 30 minutes actually uh, i guide those lines to the edges so it's like um, blood vessels bringing energy this 
all the corners of my heart. And I start asking myself, what do I like about myself? What do I love about myself? What uh, is uh, interesting things that unique things about me that I appreciate, first of all? It can be uh, some very physical. Maybe you appreciate your body. Maybe you appreciate some gifts. Maybe you appreciate some talents or um, experiences that you were able to go through very strong and maybe some decisions that you made in your life that are very important and beautiful. And I see that this is an opportunity for the circle. And I draw the circle, partial circle. And I start integrating the circle in this flow. I round all the corners. I notice that when I drew the circle, it takes some, I stop breathing. So I observe it and keep rounding, keep breathing, keep paying attention to my sensations, add more lines, you may add some colors if you want, um, for me uh, I choose the red color because it's representing the fire element, it's representing interest in life, it represents be passionate about something, uh, life force, it's really uh, bring the fire in my life, uh, fire in my mm, uh, experiences, in my connection to myself. So I just draw them as many as I want. There is always uh, such a statement like there is when you feel it's enough you trust yourself how many lines you want when you feel that it's a satisfying experience and keep asking what do i like about myself so the today the most important thing that i like about myself and appreciate about myself is that i have endless list of inspirations, endless um, list of creative projects. I'm, I'm quite creative. And I can even write on the side, uh, creative. So I remember what is this heart about. And I can and I, when I realized what is my quality that I love about myself today, uh, something shifted in the energy, something shifted in my emotional state. I can breathe now. I can be a little bit excited and because this is a new project as well. Right wondering like uh, how's it going to be presented how it's going to be accepted a little bit nervous you can draw as many circles as you want they can be big or small like very teeny tiny bubbles or you can uh, they can go beyond the edge of the heart okay so i just do whatever it takes here. I think that's all. Maybe I will be back to this one and uh, do more lines. Very beautifully look on the red when you use a white pencil. Like I'll just show you. So, and you can, okay, you see the white really. I use a uniball, so the white is really bring some life and some energy to the heart as well. So see which lines, which marker you want to use or pen. So find what is the best for you. 
Uh, next, when I will be done with all 14 of my hearts, I created such a circle with two more lines inside. I used the A3 size paper and just um, done the biggest circle I could do with my compass. Uh, it's not the biggest the paper can handle, but this is the limitations to my compass. And when I will have all 14 hearts, I will glue them to the edges of this paper. The first layer will handle about eight hearts. And I did the circle so they just uh, have the same alignment, the same depth. So I will do this eight heart here. And I'm planning to do like the pink on outside. And when I will go to the inner circle, I will do maybe white lines. So it will be even more interesting, more uh, unusual for me. And when I will be done with the outside, I'll go to the next level and do them like six insides hearts and they will overlap they will be um, connecting to each other okay one two three four five and one more here you can make some um, edges roll them with a pen if you want them like be not so flat, maybe a little bit more stand out. This is an example. So this will be the frame of hearts. You can rearrange them the way you want. So they cover this like, like a flower in the middle. And when I am done, I can glue some uh, circle inside. And you can make it, uh, I'll just make the circle. I can move a little bit hard so it's no edges seen. Okay, all, can you imagine that all those narrow lines will be connecting to the middle circle? The circle in the middle can be white. This is just to hold hearts, or it can be any other colors. And, but the ultimate goal is to place your picture. I just printed with uh, my picture that I like, and I'm going to glue it in the middle. So all this energy, all this love, all this appreciation will be uh, connecting to myself, connecting to my um, to my energy. And I'm already excited. You can, uh, after you glue everything, you may draw some field lines to reconnect all those hearts. And it will be uh, very simple. And I believe it will be a very beautiful project. A little bit naive, but it's Valentine's Day. Let's have fun. So this project that I wanted to share you, so I'm looking forward to see your outcomes, like to, to see your results. If you like this, let me know. So I'm looking forward to hear your uh, comments. So for next two weeks, you can explore more about yourselves and about your gifts and about your talents. Thank you very much. Happy Valentine's Day and happy opportunities to recognize your gifts and talents. Bye-bye.